Let's create a blend flower in Adobe Illustrator. I have kept my document size to 1080 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 300. So let's get started by right clicking on the rectangle tool and then select the star tool and then left click on the artboard and you'll get this panel. Keep radius one to 350 pixels, radius two to 175 pixels and points to 30 and click OK. Now select the selection tool and click on windows. Then select the align option and make sure your align is set to artboard. Then click on horizontal align center and vertical align center. Go back to windows and click on gradient. Click on the down arrow and select black and white. Change the type to radial gradient and click on reverse gradient. And set the stroke to none. Now double click on the black dot and select color picker. And select the color you want. Now do the same for the white dot. Change the location to 50. Then take your cursor to the gradient slider and you will see a plus icon next to it. Left click to add a node to your gradient slider. Click on it and repeat the steps. Click on the selection tool. Now let's convert this shape to a flower. Select the shape, go to edit, and click on copy. Go to edit once again, and click paste in front. Select the shape, then take your cursor towards the top right of the box. Hold shift and left mouse button, and drag it to make the shape small. And use the align tool to align it to the center like before. Now select both the shapes and go to object and click on blend. Then click on blend options. Set spacing to specified steps and set the value to 50 and click OK. Click on object once again and click on blend then click on make. Now that we've got this pattern let's go to effects then click on Distort and Transform, and click on Tweak. Keep both the horizontal and vertical to 10%. Make sure the preview is on so you can see how it looks before confirming. Once you are satisfied, click on OK, and we are done. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hope you got to learn something new. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.